In response to the changes we are seeing across the board, we need to take bold, forward-looking action to foster resilience in our communities and to enable us to seize opportunities that arise from change. We need to support people to be resilient. And to this end, education is the single most important investment our government can make in British Columbians. We said that we were going to make education the highest priority, that we were going to, that we were going to give our children, all of our children, the tools they need to thrive in a rapidly changing world. So I'm fully supportive, of course, of the investments announced in this budget update in education and, of course, the restoration of free adult basic education and English language learning. But a strong public education system is only one part of the equation. Providing parents access to childcare and mid-career retraining programs provides people the ability to prosper and provides stability in our society. I have two young children. Both are now in public school. Ella, my daughter, just started kindergarten last week. She's pretty cute, I have to say. For the past 10 years, I have been a work-from-home father. Emily and I decided that we were going to raise our children, and so that we have largely become a one-income family for that period of time. It is important that our government develop a child care and early childhood education program that considers parents who want this flexibility. When we design this program, we must do it with care and attention. The increasing costs of childcare weigh on the minds of so many and add stress to all the other factors making life less affordable, like access to safe and affordable housing near our work and near our families. We have less time to spend on the ball field and playing with our children, and that increases an empty, guilting, guilty feeling while well, we're gridlocked in traffic. We are less happy, less productive, and what should be the most productive years of our careers. This is not good for community, and it's not good for our economy. I am a strong advocate for supporting parents support their children. That is why I'm excited to work with the government thoughtfully to develop childcare and early childhood education programs over the coming weeks and months. 